Highly anticipated, this is our H2650i for the LSA. Given the popularity of the LSA engine, and in particular, factory LSA cars from both Chevy and HSV, we're excited to showcase our H2650i designed specifically to reset the performance potential of the LSA platform while retaining that OEM look. Our talented engineering team have leveraged nearly 20 years of experience working with Eaton Supercharger technology to design our latest supercharger for the LSA platform. We've incorporated a dedicated billet input drive assembly to provide increased durability and offer future versatility on drive offsets. The throttle body adapter is designed to put the standard LSA 87mm throttle body in the same factory position. We also have the option of running a 103 throttle using a billet adapter. With a large opening to feed the rotors, the scope for a much larger throttle, like our 115 integrated preview unit, will certainly maximise airflow potential. The lower supercharger manifold is supplied with a vacuum bypass actuator and all the factory LSA supercharger ancillaries interchange for ease of installation. Following our extensive testing of prototype assemblies, with all the CAD and CAM completed and signed off, we manufacture our patterns for the sand casting process in-house. Castings are fettled and heat treated to T6 before being supplied back to the machine shop for processing. Our Mazak Twin Pallet Horizontal Machining Centre gets to work on the milling before moving to the assembly team with quality inspection at every step. The final production step before packaging is the supercharger dyne cell, where every unit is run and serial numbered to ensure it meets specifications. Now let's look at the performance comparison of our 2650 compared to the factory 1900. The Maloo baseline with a stock airbox and exhaust at 453 horsepower with peak boost seeing 7.7 .7 PSI. Now with the H2650i installed, we are running a 90mm top pulley, a stock lower and have installed our LSA cold air kit and a full exhaust. Peak boost now reaches 16 PSI and power tops 673 horsepower on our mainline Pro Hub with a peak supercharger speed of just 13,820 RPM, which interestingly are comparable to what we would typically see with a head and cam package while turning the factory 1900 blower to over 21,000 RPM to achieve around 14 pounds of boost. However, it's the max effort combinations where our H2650i shines over the factory 1900. Just like Brett's 427 cubic inch GDS, which we have tested to over 1140 hub horsepower using our prototype 115 integrated throttle and V2 LSA intake, all tuned up by Steve at Vision Automotive. High horsepower combinations often need an upgraded fuel system. Here's a preview of our billet fuel rails designed specifically for the H2650i. The billet rails have been designed so that you can run a factory style fuel system or a complete return style system. The supercharger manifold has been machined to enable fuel lines and fittings to be screwed in from the rear and we're also working on a crimped hose kit. Now available from our dealers globally. Learn more at harrop.com.au and subscribe to the channel for all of our content as released.